Hey, Sheila, cancel my 2 o'clock golf meeting. I'm going to do this uh, conference call instead. I'm pitching a new movie. Uh, thanks for joining me. I'm Jonathan Cross, and I've got a doozy for you today. Uh, perhaps you've heard about the hit sensation going around everywhere these days called Pokemon Go. It's time for a movie. I have the director, I have the cast, and I'm ready to pitch it to you. The director is a no-brainer. Three words. Michael fucking Bay. He is at the helm. He's leading the charge. Think explosions. Think saturated colors. Think cameras spinning around Pokemon, looking up at American jets as they're flying overhead, American flags, bald eagles, the whole works. Half of it's going to be filmed in China for the tax breaks and uh, just to oversee appeal. We're going to have one Chinese person in the film to make them feel right at home as well. Now, I want to get to the cast right out of the bank. Ash Ketchum, this role has to be absolutely crushed. And I think there's nobody better to do it. Nobody that's shown he has staying power and presence like Andrew Garfield. Fiery redhead Misty, I think she's red-haired. I don't, I don't really give a shit. It doesn't matter. We can change her hair color. We can make her black. It doesn't matter. But we're not going to because we want to sell tickets. So who are we going to bring in? We're bringing in the big guns, J-Law. Her no-nonsense, crass-talking attitude of... I don't need a man to help me out, is perfect for the role. J-Law will kill this film. Brock is one of my favorites from the show, and I love the guy I got for him. Dwayne The Rock Johnson playing the ladies' man Brock, or, or so he thinks. He's going to be more badass than Brock was. Uh, we're going to make this Brock a little bit more grown up. He's going to have some great one-liners. He's going to lift the eyebrow a lot, and he's just going to have some fun with the cast. Him and Misty will eventually uh, have sex in later films. <clears throat> Jesse and James, a.k.a. Team Rocket, are in the picture. They're going to be the bad guys, giving Ash a hard time. Why don't they just let the kid be? All he wants to do is catch them all, train a bunch of random animals in captivity, fight to the death, blood sport sort of situation. I don't really see the problem with the whole thing. But I have the solution. Daniel Radcliffe, Emma Watson, Jesse and James. Come on, the Harry Potter kids, meowth. He's going to be uh, fully CGI'd. Mew, he is going to be in the film as an Easter egg. He'll be floating in the background somewhere teasing for an upcoming movie where we eventually do the Mewtwo thing and uh, that whole nonsense. This one's just really going to be about Ash wanting to be the very best that no one ever was. We're going to have the theme song redone by Fallout Boy. It's going to suck. I don't care. We're just having them on here because we want to have that cross synergy promotion. Uh, they sell some albums. We make some money off of their popularity. Bada bing, bada bang, bada boom, money, cash, penis. Uh, Professor Oak. We gotta have Professor Oak. He's the one that gets the Pokeballs delivered. He's the one that teaches Ash his vast knowledge of Pokemon, uh, such as throw the ball to catch the Pokemon and beat the living shit out of uh, you know strange animals to the point where they can barely breathe and then uh, capture them for your own. Um, they claim them as your own pet. Uh, he's gonna be played by Samuel L. Jackson. Get a little color into the film. Uh, have his wise cracking, uh, no nonsense personality in there. We might keep the eye patch even. I don't know. We'll we'll we'll, we'll see. Ash's mom, mm. uh, Susan Sarandon. Every one of these movies has a big kind of uh, blockbuster name attached to it. Uh, kind of an Emmy Award winner associated, and that's what Susan Sarandon's going to bring to the table. <clears throat> uh, there's some coffee I spilled earlier. I was going to have you clean it up, but we'll, we'll talk later. Uh, Gary, okay. This is a Michael Bay film. We're going to have Shia back. Just We saw do how this it. worked before. Michael Bay got in a fight with uh, Megan Fox, booted her ass out of her, his films. She was in a ditch somewhere for a while. Then he brought her back. He picked her up. He dusted her off. He said, you can be in my produced Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. We're going to do the same thing for Shia, who's gone off the goddamn deep end. Michael Bay's going to come back to Shia. He's going to say, you want to be a star again? Here's your movie, Pokemon Go. Uh, recap time, bullet points. Michael Bay director. 250 to $300 million project. Uh, another 200 in marketing. We are going to have Pokemon Go trading cards. We're going to have sippy cups. We're going to have napkins. We're going to have everything under the sun, an amiibo for the Nintendo Wii. Oh, that, that's not a thing anymore. Uh, for the Net NX or whatever they're going to call that. As for the Pokemon themselves, I already mentioned they're going to be CGI'd. Uh, Pikachu is, of course, going to be front and center. Maybe I'll have Howie Mandel voice all of them or something. It doesn't matter. Nicki Minaj cameo is Jinx. Everybody's going to be looking for it. Might as well be there. 
But there you go. Billion dollar idea again, laid right at your front door by Jonathan Cross. We have a movie. Yeah, we have a movie. Hey, you know what? I can make that golf meet after all. Yeah, this didn't take as long as I thought. Thank <laughs> you.